About a year ago, we took a quick look at how we could use the Photo Leap app to produce AI-generated facades that we could use in our home projection shows. Since then a few things have changed, so it's probably time to revisit the app for an updated look. First up, the UI has been overhauled, and navigating the app is very different. Personally it's not my favorite layout, but it's serviceable. One of my favorite features that came out within the last year is the text-to-image generator. It's not the best that I've seen, but it's decent enough and produces images fairly quickly. For example, if we typed in Bigfoot as UFC champion, it will produce four different options in a short amount of time. The limitation to this is that on the free version, you get one text prompt generation per hour. To get more than that, you will need to pay for the premium features which are billed annually. Currently it's about $35 for the year, which isn't bad if you're going to produce multiple shows for the year. I am not the best with text prompts and tend to keep my requests to the app fairly simple. Getting what you want will be an exercise in patience sometimes, and you'll likely need to regenerate several times to get something serviceable for your show. Once you have an image you like, you can edit out the background through the app if you want, by choosing Edit, then Cut Out. Select Background, and then click this circle icon to invert the selection. You can see it didn't remove all of it, and you can try to use the eraser tool to remove what was left over. Ultimately, I just end up exporting this out and performing any cleanups in other software. When you're happy, you can save the image to your phone. Removing the watermark is an option that is exclusive to the premium features, but you can see that the watermark is not at all intrusive, and you can work around it. If you wish to keep the transparent background, save your image in the PNG file format. Now for the main event, let's import our map file and generate some facades to be used in a show. Choose the Edit Photo option and find your map file. Select AI Filters and then move over to Scenes. Here, you will find a selection of different predefined scenes you can use to generate a facade. On the right hand side is a set of numbers. Choosing a higher number will tilt the engine to generate something that adheres more to what the AI thinks the scene should look like, but this can result in an image that conforms less to the original map file. Similarly, Choosing a lower number will keep the facade closer to what the original map file is, but will produce less interesting details in the final image. You can compare the new facade to the original map file by holding on this icon. This way you can gauge if the generated image went too far away from the lines of your map file and regenerate if necessary. Should you choose a scene and don't like the image it generates at all, just select it again to produce a new result. Any of the scenes in the list that have a crown icon over them are part of the premium features. I don't know that any of these are better than the free ones available for our purposes. You'll be able to do quite a bit with the free ones if you have patience. On that note, when staying with the free version there will be times the app will tell you it is too busy to generate something for you, forcing you to wait until a later time. Premium users however will not get that message. If you're not getting the results you want, you can try to use an exported image of the masking you have done in your software of choice. Some people have reported this works far better for them than the simple black lines of the original map file. For those who follow this channel and are creating shows using Resolve, you can export this from the edit page by choosing File, then Export, and then Select, Current Frame is Still. Save this file anywhere you want, and JPG or PNG formats will be just fine. Then move this file to your phone. My personal experience has been that using a masked version of the house map doesn't make a big difference but I will happily defer to those who swear by it as a way to generate better facades. Not only do we have preset scenes available, but we can use text prompts to try and generate something custom. This can be hit or miss. Ideally, the more descriptive you are, the better the end result. Any custom prompts you enter will be temporarily saved in the menu, allowing you to regenerate with a simple click. Be aware that once you finish this edit, the custom scenes will go away and will not be permanently available. Once you find something you like and wish to use, choose the check mark in the right hand corner. From here, there are additional options to fine tune this image using the adjust menu. With these adjustments, it helps to know a little bit about color correction. If you don't have that knowledge, just play with each slider to see if it makes things better or worse. You can always undo something by using this back arrow located here. If you like your image, save and export it to your phone.
I'd recommend saving it as a PNG image. You can then import this to your computer to use in your home projection show. There's one more trick you could do if you wanted with this saved image. From the main menu, choose Animate from the top menu, then load up your newly saved facade. From here, there are several options that you can use to enhance your scene, and each is worth investigating. For now, let's take a look at the elements options. From this menu, we can add simple animated objects into the facade. The one downside is that it doesn't appear as though they can be resized. I'm open to being wrong about that statement, but I could not find a way to do it while putting this together. This means only a few of these elements may actually work for your facade. This spider is a popular choice I've seen used quite a bit, so let's roll with that one. When you're happy, save this to a video file and choose the aspect ratio, duration, and image quality for the export. The longer the duration and higher the resolution, the longer it will take to render out. Since this animation is fairly simple, I'll just keep the duration low and loop it once I bring it into my show build. Once completed, move the video or image file from your phone into your software of choice. You'll want to ensure that the facade is lining up correctly with your map file, so make it somewhat transparent to check on that. Sometimes you'll need to resize the image entirely to get it to fit correctly. It's a minor inconvenience, but it's not too difficult to do. Just don't be surprised if you have to refit it, you didn't do anything wrong. If everything fits well, another round of color correcting may be in order. Again, it's perfectly fine. While AI generation tools can come in handy in a particular situation, they are perfect. Often they will generate a goofy mistake. Still, when you need an asset for your show and you're having trouble finding what you need, they may be able to fill the gap for you. Photo Leap is probably the easiest one I've used and I tend to keep coming back to it when I need something. Hopefully you can find some uses for it as well, and I hope this helped you understand its features just a little bit better. In closing, I'd like to say good luck to you on your project. And hopefully, I'll see you down the road.